Hundreds of students made their way through the halls of their brand new building for the first time today. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett shows us their new space and explains how the new school isn't just for the students. Miss Morin's second grade class is eager to learn. Ideas are important. Important. Good. Even on a gloomy Monday morning, Fallon Park Elementary Principal Nikki Mitchum says teachers and students have a spring in their step. Second through fifth graders finally moved into their new school ahead of schedule. They were excited telling me I get to go into my new room today. The old building was built more than 40 years ago. Many classrooms didn't have doors, walls or windows. The brand new space has added security, a designated room for science and technology classes, a new main office and cafeteria with a bigger kitchen and a stage, and new technology in bigger updated classrooms. I think it's a morale booster for everyone. Just having a brand new facility with brand new furniture is, is something big with the doors, the windows. It's just really going to heighten, I think, our instruction to the next level. Early next year, work begins on phase three of the $21.6 million project. Crews will renovate the gym, create a fine arts wing, build a new bus loop, and a community medical clinic. Serving the community is a big part of the design. There's a new laundry room and a larger food pantry and clothing closet. If the needs of the student are not met, it's going to be hard for them to focus on their instruction. So we really, truly want to be a resource. Some staff and students still have to make the move over the next week. By the new year, I'm finally excited to get everybody under one roof again. There will be a new feel at Fallon Park. In Roanoke, Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you. Construction on Phase 3 will start early next year and is expected to be finished by the fall.